Lasting for four years and claiming more than 10,000 lives, the siege of Sarajevo was an event that changed the city forever. It's 20 years since it all began on the 5th of April 1992, and life goes on as normal in Bashashia, the artisan's district of the old town. But memories of the conflict are never far away. Coppersmith Mirsad Birkenich says he never thought multi-ethnic Bosnia would descend into war. At the beginning, we thought it was only going to last for seven days. One person takes his independence, another is unhappy about it. They start shooting and that's it. Sarajevo was blockaded for 44 months, the longest siege in the history of modern warfare. During that time, Bosnian Serb forces pounded the city from the surrounding hills, their gunmen spreading terror in the infamous Sniper's Alley. Leading the only official armed unit in the city was Dragan Vikic. We had anti-sniper teams who were in position 24 hours a day and covered this area. You know how difficult it was to go from the city centre to the western part? You had to go on a detour because it was so close to the front lines. In fact, they didn't even have to use snipers from the other side. They could shoot civilians with pistols. One man who made a name for himself at that time was television journalist Senad Hajifedovic. He was the first to call the conflict a war as the violence escalated. For him, the siege led to a lasting trauma that's shared by all the city's residents. In a normal conversation, you would never notice anything. But if you go deeper, you'll discover an unbelievable tragedy in every single person in Sarajevo. Many of the town's buildings still bear the scars of the siege. And while Sarajevo can gradually erase the visible signs, the memories of the four-year war still linger.